Big problems inside a Clearwater restaurant filled with hundreds of rat droppings. The restaurant's manager says it's not his fault. You'll find Saigon Bull Vietnamese restaurant on Drew Street in Clearwater. Health inspectors shut it down last week. Tonight, 10 News reporter Bo Zimmer heads inside for this week's restaurant red alert. From savory soups to unique Vietnamese pork chops, Clearwater's Saigon Bowl is a hit with customers. So it's authentic and also it's the, the friendly yeah. staff. But this Vietnamese restaurant is apparently not just popular with people. A health inspector reports finding hundreds of rodent droppings inside, three to 400 on the shelves and the floor by the dry storage area, along with more than 35 on the kitchen prep table. The idea of having rodent droppings in the area yeah. where they're making the food. Yeah, that's disgusting, without a doubt. The restaurant also written up for temperature violations on the pork dumplings, beef and fish, along with uncovered employee drink cups, which can make contamination from saliva more likely. Wednesday afternoon, 10 News hey, stopped in. My name is Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi, hi, Tim. I'm Bo with 10 News. Oh, nice to meet you. It's hi. not every day we get this warm a welcome, but manager Tim Pham agreed to sit down and discuss the problems. We have a little pesca of uh, issue, what? minor, but not, nothing major, gotcha. uh, because the building is old. Pham told us his staff immediately got to work. How important was that for you as the manager to get some of those things corrected? It was very important, very important. I mean, for us, I mean, I wouldn't want that in my family. In my right. house, right. So we instantly we fix it. <laughs> to prove his point, yeah, this is where we prep our, our food right here. He agreed to allow our camera inside the kitchen. One of the first things I always look for is the hand washing sink okay. because we like to know that employees are washing their hands. Right. So you've got soap, soap, okay. soap up there. Right, right, Looks right. like maybe some paper towels right. in there. Right. So what do you keep in there? Fom showed us the refrigeration unit he says wasn't working properly on the inspector's visit, causing temperature violations. But as we pushed further inside, our first real sign of major problems. These are all rodent droppings right down here. And it wasn't just a few. They're all down here. One, two, three, four. There's one over here behind this pot. From there, the restaurant's owner had a sudden change of heart. He said he's not comfortable, you know, well, filming up here. So I was just going to point out to you right over okay. here. We made sure management was aware the rodent issue was still a problem. So what's the plan now? The plan is just to clean up right away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Terrific. that's that's uh, that's what I guess we have to maintain every night. And that's what some customers expect. If there's a rodent activity at night, it's still their responsibility in the morning to clean up after whatever's caused the mess. Customers say they don't care what it takes they just want a clean kitchen would you give this place a chance would you go in there oh god no. <laughs> oh no why not rodent droppings aren't exactly in my taste <laughs> uh, not his taste <laughs> yeah uh, so the manager tells Bo his restaurant shares its building with several other businesses and it's hard to control rodent activity coming through the ceiling from other parts of the building